Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's like Captain is back at the full video, and today I'm very, very excited to share with you how I upgraded my Lego Star Wars The Bad Batch minifigures. That is why we are going to be upgrading our Lego Star Wars The Bad Batch minifigures. Alright, so let's start off with our first minifigure, which will be Hunter. Now, Hunter comes with two of his, um, um, knives, rubber knives, which I don't think is really necessary because, I mean, he, he has a gun, right? So, I swap one of those with a single mini pistol over here. And, um, for the backpack, I, I didn't really do anything because I, I think the printed one for this dude is okay. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, look at the print. It's quite nice. I mean... I know a lot of you are not a huge fan of these printed backpacks, but I'm, I'm fine with them. For, for, for minifigures like these, I'm fine, but for some other minifigures, I'm not really. So, yeah, this is all for Hunter. Moving on to our next minifigure would be Wrecker. Now, Wrecker is, um, has a new mold for his armor piece and the back. As you can see, the backpack is which has the which is the exact same as Hunter's backpack is covered by his armor piece here. So what I want to do is that I just have this brick built on, which is basically built out of these um I don't know what you want to call this. Then we have a towel here. Uh, let me just break it up for you. So we have these pieces. You need two of these. One at the top, one at the bottom. Then you want to connect them with these pieces. Then you want to take one red one and one grey, um, I don't know what you call that, piece with lines in it. Because as you can see, we try, when we create customs, we try to create it the most accurate to Lego, if not then Star Wars, Lucasfilm. Um, like, uh, like so, um, you can have him hop on his backpack and yeah, this will look nice on him. Now, um. For the blaster, which is simply just a space that Lego was too lazy to create a new mold for him, probably because a lot of mold, new molds were used on this set. I gave him this um, commander gun. I, I just bought this for one dollar and knock off like a piece. Or if you want, you can use CAC, but the shipping is quite expensive, so yeah. And if you buy CAC, uh, the shipping might be delayed. I mean, the, the stuff is quality, but. I don't, um, the shipping will be delayed. Our next minifigure would be Crosshair. Now, Crosshair, um, uh, he, he's pretty cool, especially with that new face print of his. Then, on the back here, he has this jet uh, backpack, with a printed backpack. I, I don't like his backpack. I mean, I mean, look at that. Is that supposed to be a grip for his gun to be held on with? It's not accurate at all. Then, but then we here we have some, um, the, I don't know those those mirror shield guns, whatever you call that. So now I just had to give him this. It's very simple. It's just a one by two tile, and a, a one by one and two one by one tiles. Uh, actually, if you guys would like it, um, it will be both black. But I mean, I I couldn't find both black. I mean, like this will also be more accurate to Lego when we use this piece because it's a bit grey so just uh, remove his head so this is I got it here we have him uh, cross his head is off you want to add this um, very nice uh, backpack. I, I know the gun holder is not here, but since I didn't buy from AB figures, I forgot to buy his holster, so I decided to put that on. And you can have this um, gun. But if you guys think that this gun is too small, I think it's fine. I mean, um, yeah, it, it, it looks fine. Then you can add on this um, the 501 Fast Clone Troopers gun uh, barrel extension. If you just if you guys have the five of us battle pack and do not want the super long blaster, you could consider building it to cross it. So
yeah moving on to our next mini figure would be echo and this guy i want to say i cannot reveal his arm to you yet he has really nice arm printing and look at the head there it's very very nice so i know i revealed it to you so yeah what is this made of you wonder it's very simple you you know the screw from the darth vader's transformation the latest rogue one one then helps you get to buy a couple of blue tack just push it in and you get a very very accurate looking echo minifigure here so yeah moving on to our next minifigure will be tech and tech i would like to give him uh, i gave him a new a uh, custom arm paint um, i know it's fading off so yeah uh, maybe i'll just catch him back or just leave it like that i mean like eventually you have to wash them off so yeah tech is really really nice minifigure i really like his him as a character and as a lego minifigure and if you guys check out my top three favorite minifigures you will realize that this is my first number one favorite figure and we have this dual molded um custom helmet piece so yeah and so um wait that's not it we still have omega wait lego didn't create omega figure oh well let us create at all look at this it's a custom um painted um omega minifigure this is chancellor palpatine's hair piece um yeah and then we have um who do you call this the, the one from the free maker adventures um uh Lowen's, i don't know who that's not his mom I, I forgot who that is then you just want to take her his hair and her arms and then you just want to take a piece these short legs oh my god the back is disgusting anyway just clear the back on back on then um just gonna paint these this way um if you guys would like a view of this then i give you five seconds pause the video and maybe customize it oh i'm moving on to the side is this more clear to you i can use this In the back, nothing, no print. And that's it. Remember, if you guys want to customize it, the red has always to be a slight smaller than the blue has to be the rest. Alright okay, guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Bad Batch minifigure upgrade video. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Um, For now, stay cool. Peace out.